sort of mysticism and Age of Aquarius type stuff. And one of the reasons why she uh, felt that that was the right place to be was because she thought that scientists were arrogant. That they had all these answers to questions they didn't have any right to have answers to. But with her New Age friends, she would sometimes raise questions about their beliefs. And she noticed a pattern emerging talking to her New Age friends versus talking to scientists, that scientists would sometimes say they didn't know the answer to something. And that her New Age friends would never say that. They had an answer for everything. And she realized, actually, science does claim to know the answer to some things. But there are other things that it very quickly admits it doesn't know the answer to. Dinesh just gave you a list, a laundry list of things. Where did the universe come from? Why is there any universe? Is there life after death? And he says, and science has no clue about any of these things, as if that's a bad thing. <laughs> Scientists are extremely proud of the fact that we know we know some things, and we know there are other things we don't know. We know where the dividing line is between what we know and what we don't know because of good reasons. For why there is a universe rather than not, we don't know the answer to that. Is there life after death? We know the answer to that. Why? Because we know what we're made of. We know how it acts. We know there is nothing to keep any sort of soul alive after the body dies. And that goes back to Ian's discussion of how does science know some things? Is science the only way of knowing things? Science is clearly not the only way of knowing things. There are other ways of truth. For example, mathematical truths are outside of science. They are logical truths, not empirical ones. But it would be a mistake to think that religion is a different way of obtaining truth that is outside everything else. If God existed, the one thing that if there, it were, there were an omnipotent being that cared about us here on earth, I would expect clear instructions. I would expect a book that I knew exactly what it said. It was clear that it was right and I would be able to follow it. If God did not exist, I would expect all sorts of different books. They would contradict each other. Some of them would be brilliant in parts. They would be silly in other parts. They would be uplifting in parts. They would be uh, very depressing in other parts. They would be edited collections. They would be personal memoirs. They would all disagree with each other. <laughs> Which of these two theories fits the data? Thank you.